boxing venue here at the Olympic Games. And we're back from Beijing where another star athlete, the reigning Olympic champ on the women's 400 meter hurdles, an athlete from Greece has been eliminated for doping. The use of banned substances has taken such a toll on the popularity of track and field events especially. There's a major new effort in the U.S. to not just clean up the sport but restore public confidence. The story from NBC's Richard Engel. At the U.S. Olympic trials in Oregon, Tyson Gay ran the 100-meter dash in just 9.68 seconds. In decathlon, another personal best for Brian Clay. But is their strength and speed real? Both want to prove their performance is all natural. To let people know, hey, here's an athlete that's clean, that's doing it right. Clay is one of 12 elite American athletes in My Victory, a new program by the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency to improve the American Olympic team's tarnished image. The athletes voluntarily submit to frequent random drug testing, far more than their competitors, as many as four tests a week. Does it mean they're clean? No, unfortunately, it doesn't mean that, but it does say that they're committed to helping anti-doping authorities. Clay has to register his movements. If drug testers can't find him, he fails. Clay won't even take vitamins. Why is all this necessary? Too many cases like Marion Jones, five Olympic medals in Sydney, now in prison for lying about steroids. You cannot underestimate how profoundly damaged the American reputation is overseas because of the doping exploits of far too many Americans. One thing goes wrong, whether it was accidental or, or intentional, and the rest of your life could be changed. And, and I'm just not willing to take that chance. While critics say the project is too small and tests can't catch all designer steroids, anti-doping officials say anything helps. More and more of the doping controls are being conducted out of competition on an unannounced surprise basis, which means that we would catch the cheats more and more efficiently. China has the biggest anti-doping lab in the world. Now it's in lockdown with 24-hour guards. Throughout the games, the 150 scientists inside will be conducting more than 4,500 tests, more than at any other Olympics in history. Brian Clay is aiming for Olympic history, a gold medal, and to clean up his sport. Richard Engel, NBC News, Beijing. Yeah.